right, everybody, welcome back. This is the Here, the Unheard Digital Summit. I am your host, Austin Turner, and I have a tremendous guest today, super excited about uh, this interviewee. Um, he is a good friend of mine, uh, someone who is a, a well-respected expert in the health, nutrition, supplementation field, the one and only Alexander Freaky. Alex, good afternoon, sir. How are you, my friend? Hey, man. Crazy times for all. Crazy, crazy, crazy times indeed. Um, so let's, let's first and foremost talk to our viewers a little bit. Who is Alex Freaky? Uh, why are you an expert in the nutrition supplementation space and where are you located? Sure, sure. So um, Alex Freaky, I'm originally from um, Pennsylvania uh, near Philly. So the Scranton area, I live out here in, uh, in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Um, you know, a little background on myself. I've been um, you know, a college athlete. Um, I've been an actor, um, fitness model um, for you know, John Wick, Planet Fitness, um, you know, the blacklist on NBC. And then I've been on the WWE tough show in 2015. So I've done my fair share of athletics and, um, you know, mainstream media stuff, but, um, the nutritional aspect and supplementation comes from my college background of, uh, biochemistry. So my, one of my bachelor's degrees in biochemistry, my main focus in school was learning the body, how it operated with food with supplementation, with certain supplements, you know, all of your, your, your array of uh, sports nutritional uh, supplements that have been out for a very long time, studies and stuff like that. So that's where it comes from. And over 15 years of experience uh, and experimentation of myself, so. <laughs> yeah, if anybody's seen your uh, physique, um, it is definitely one to want to replicate. Um, I know it's a, uh, a goals of mine. Um, yeah, you definitely touched the industry, the fitness industry, health, nutrition, supplementation industry on a, on a number of different fronts, um, from the modeling to the actual acting. Um, what are you doing currently in the space? Let's talk a little bit about the, the shop that you have out there. Sure. So um, uh, in 2016, when I moved to Arizona, I opened up uh, a sports nutrition shop um, called Performance Supplements. Um, that was specific, and I wanted to be a little bit different than other shops. Listen, every store or place you're going to, you're going to, you're going to carry products, right? You're going to have the same stuff, protein, creatine, all that stuff that you're going to find in any store. But having my background um, was my biggest thing is I wanted to personally impact people that came into the shop. So that's what makes it a little bit different. You know, when I'm there now, I'm only there to be an appointment, um, being busy and other things in the medical world. Um, you know, being there and having an impact and helping someone and training my partner as well as my staff uh, with my knowledge on, on supplements gives us an edge because I don't think there's another place here in Arizona that has the schooling that I do that understands the supplements and nutrition on a level that I do. So, you know, I'm not saying we're better than anyone. I just said we have a different perspective on what we do and what we can offer the uh, person that comes in. Yeah, absolutely. And that is one of the biggest things, right? And what we kind of pride ourselves on here in Two-Footed Solutions is that consultative um, individual type of approach, right? There is no uh, one-stop shop, specifically in the health and nutrition supplementation world. Every person, every soccer player even, and most of our audience is, is soccer, um, they need to be treated different. You can't treat them with the same brush or else you are going to fail individuals. Um, yes. So you have to take it to the individual. And that's the, the beauty of what you do and what you offer, um, the athletic uh, 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 spectrum, um, not just athletes, but also coaches and parents, is you provide that you know, one-to-one -one consultation. How can we take your pain points and then provide the health, nutrition, supplementation solutions yeah. for them? Um, which is you know, obviously a really cool thing, and there's a whole lot of synergy is what we do here um, with Two Footed. You know, let's bring this to today, right? You, you, you've done a whole lot in the past to gain that knowledge and experience. Let's talk about the impact of COVID-19. Um, we'll get to the state guidelines. We'll get to the shop and how it's impacting the shop. But let's get to the importance of um, the nutritional health and supplementation side of the equation. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the youth side, and then we'll kind of bring it full spectrum. Um, right now, youth don't have access to their routine. And part of that routine is that consistent nutrition, the yeah. consistent access to, to nutritional resources in a lot of cases. Um, let's talk a little bit about the importance that you've seen um, with these uh, closures and quarantines and how it's impacting uh, different pockets of society. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to, to things being closed, and I mean, as far as, you know, kids in school, you know, with nutrition, if they're not, they're not eating it. I mean, 
some of them may not even be having food in, in, in mind, you know, and food and nutrition, whether it be, you know, hopefully the right types of foods um, is really important for, for kids growing and athletes. And, um, you know, if you're not, you know, if school's not open, for example, you may not have the access to that and or the guidance to um, be learning and understanding how important food is, especially at the, the sport level, you know, with, with being around your team and your coaches and all that stuff. That is something that I think, you know, even me playing sports as a kid, we always talk about uh, making sure we're eating food that sticks to your bones, you know, that, 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 ha- that helps us um, perform, whether whatever it, in, in whatever sport may be. So yeah, right now, you know, with things being closed and COVID, there is so much importance on, on, on food that I think may not be getting to those athletes and those, you know, those, those you know, younger, younger kids be, being not in school. Yeah, absolutely. That's a you know, huge thing that we're seeing. Um, accessibility is, is key, and we don't have the accessibility to the whole foods, the, the actual nutrition dense type of uh, uh, sustenance that you should be eating. You tend to rely on the McDonald's, the fast foods, the quick fixes, right. and those are the things that are going to set this next generation back for a long time. Uh, six months, 12 months, 18 months of stagnant, yeah. you are going to get obesity issues, you're going to get these other supplemental or auxiliary problems that aren't COVID-19 related. However, they're de- directly related to COVID-19. Right. And you know what, you know, with, um, if, if you, the longer a, a person and let alone a younger, uh, you know, younger age, you know, kid, you know, younger age man, woman is away from healthy food. The longer they're away from that healthy food, the longer they're not going to ever want to go back to it. So if they're not getting the healthy food, if they're eating McDonald's or eating other fast food or processed stuff, you know, if they're not getting the nutrients they need from the, the healthier, cleaner food, and they're away from that, that clean food for a long period, it's going to take that much longer, even double to get the taste for that back. You're like, Oh, I don't want that. Well, because they've been away for, for such a long time, that's what I, it's causing as well that you mentioned not being able to, um, or being, you know, not getting the nutrients, but also eating processed and, and more fast food than normal. Sure. Yeah. I was, for those that don't know, I have my own weight loss story, weight loss journey. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll save the details, but gaining the taste for the healthy foods was most of the battle. You know, I focused primarily on the nutritional aspect before I went into the physical side and being able to, to change my palate, to get into the routine where I was consuming 80, 20 or 90, 10, was a challenge when I was going 80, 20 or 90, 10 the other way. Um, but, you know, having the resources and having the tools or the knowledge to be able to guide someone who isn't experienced or ignorant in that arena um, through that process is, is obviously something that is, is super important today, tomorrow, moving into the future um, for everyone. Um, and then the fact that you have these resources available is, is a super cool offering to the market. Right. So I know Arizona is a little different from a state guideline standpoint. Right. Here in California, we just shut down gyms. Um, we are having the time of our lives battling back and forth with uh, our governor in that whole situation. What does it look like in your area? Um, it's very similar. Um, you know, the gyms have been shut down, I think, three weeks again. Uh, we went on, we got that whole, uh, was it a month? It was like a month and a half, I think, we had of, of the gyms being back open post, post medium covid um, but yeah, now they're shut down again. Um, pools, gyms, uh, water parks and things of that nature, uh, restaurants are slower capacity, you know, of course other things are shut down, but yeah, yeah. All the gyms are, are currently shut down. Uh, our governor did a, uh, a press conference. He's doing it every two weeks. Uh, he just pushed it back two weeks. So we're probably a week out for the next press conference. Um, you know, so yeah, yeah, it's same here. Very similar. Yeah, it's a, it's a struggle and an interesting time for the health and fitness industry, uh, yeah. for sure. Um, how is it impacting your business? I, I know you have a uh, capability to serve the whole world through your online e-commerce portion, right. um, but how is the storefront, how is that being affected? So right now, I would say, you know, without going and running numbers on the place uh, during COVID and currently, I think we're running about only at like 50 to 60% of what we usually do. Um, listen at the end of the day if you're not if some people aren't working out they forget and it's the problem they forget the other the, the importance of their supplementation yes there's pre-workouts and things people use for the gym actually to get energy to go yeah they're not gonna be using those which is fine but vitamins protein 
things that are helping them nutritionally, they all they, they push the, the side. So some, you know, that those 40, 40, 50% of people aren't going to walk through the door because they don't think they need it uh, because they're not training, which in theory, you are correct. But unfortunately for people like myself, um, or actually I'm saying fortunately for people like myself and people that are like me out in the, in the area we live in, they're still coming in, which is a great thing because we live that type of life all the time, whether we're touching weights or on the field or not, we still are doing that same nutritional um, lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's one of the key uh, core concepts that we keep getting back to with each of my expert interviewees is that uh, the process, the routine, it's the, right. the ability to, if you have a goal in place, it's the critical path to success to achieve that goal. Um, and, and it isn't going to happen overnight. And that is even more so true in the health and fitness arena. Yeah. Um, it takes yeah. small micro changes daily over an extended period of time in order to be able to achieve those goals. Uh, and that's sort of, you know, you're a testament to that. Look at, you know, you look at your physique, look at what you've done from the movies, from the competitions, from everything that you've done. And it is routine. It is that yeah. consistency showing up every single day to get it done. Yep. And speaking out to, you know, speaking directly to the viewers in this case, the athletes, the coaches, and the parents who are sitting there listening, it's never too late to get started. Um, in most cases, yeah, you're going to have so many different resources on Google. You can go to your you know, Target go, local grocery store and you'll be inundated with a number of different supplement opportunities. Right. Uh, but having the, uh, the knowledge, having someone there to, to help kind of walk you through that process, having someone like Alex in your corner um, it is tremendous and it's, it's super, super valuable. Um, let's talk a little bit about what you do specifically for uh, at the shop in order to create the, the perfect nutrition health supplementation plan for your customer or client. So, you know, and, and especially when it comes down to, um, you know, not, not, not necessarily the normal person, but you know, in this case, speaking to the, the athletes uh, out there, um, you know, it's understanding what you're doing on a daily basis from waking up to going to bed, your energy output, um, and your goal, overall goal, you know, I, I, we work with high school football players, oh, okay, pre-COVID, um, we're working with high school football players and coaches to outfit them with certain things that they need to perform. And that's why my shop is called Performance Supplements, to perform better um, and help them through that uh, season, through that preseason. Um, so with the person, the athlete, I have to know what you do on a daily basis, what your goal is, what your end goal is, if it's increase your endurance, increase your strength, or just live overall healthier. There's a lot of factors and questions that go into the type of uh, regimen, uh, nutritional or supplementational that we put you on just due to what you do regularly and what you want to get out of what you're doing. That's brilliant. Yeah. Having a uh, idea in mind, understanding the foundation of what you're doing, and then creating a blueprint uh, to help you succeed. That, that is like how you are able to help not only the athletes, but coaches, and parents, young and old, um, really everyone, because you, you take it directly to the individual. Um, if somebody wanted to, uh, say, get a consultation or, or uh, find out more information on how they could, you know, take some of your very valuable time, wh where would be the best place to send them from? Honestly, um, our website is www.performancesupsupp.com. Um, every email, every inquiry comes directly to me. I don't have a customer service person. I don't have uh, an answering email service. I answer them from my phone or my computer directly to me. Um, if you call our shop, you're going to get my business, my, my partner who runs the store itself. But um, our email address, everything of that nature comes directly to me. And our email address, I'll just put it out there, is info at performancesup.com. Well, I will answer all those emails. Um, if you have a specific question, I could answer it. If you wanna get on a Skype or Zoom call, you wanna chat about what you do you and your, your athlete or yourself need, I'm here for you. And I don't, um, and it's so crazy, I don't charge fees just to chat with you. You know, um, I'd rather give you information that's gonna help you be better and it's going to impact everyone. And if you can be better, um, you could probably pass information to someone else they're better. So I, I believe in paying it forward. Um, I didn't have a lot of money as a kid and my parents didn't. So I had some people that helped me push me in certain directions and I want to do that to you as well. So anything you guys need, please reach out. Yeah, that's, that's an ad respect for that. that. That's really cool. Um, let's talk about the team aspect because that's really one interesting portion um, of this conversation. Uh, you mentioned you work with football teams. 
Um, what does working with a, a team or an organization, you know, what does that entail? Um, each individual person um, having their own plan or, or what does that look like? And, it, and it's all what they want, really. Um, sure. get, I have knowledge on overall things that will make anyone uh, help anyone. But then again, if there's a specific goal in mind, like, hey, yeah, listen, I was a skinny kid growing up. I was a twig. I'm 6'4", but I was, I'm a long, skinny kid. So if I was on a team, my coach would be like, hey, you gotta, this kid's got to learn how to eat and, and, get, and build them up a little bit. So the, everyone's going to have a little different goal. But, for example, we have a supplement in the store here in Arizona. It's really, really hot. It's 115 degrees out right now. Yes, no one's playing sports right now outside. But when they do, or when they did, you know, a few months ago, they wanted something to replace Gatorade. Why well, have a supplement in the store that has no sugar that tastes identical to lemon lime Gatorade, but it's a better carbohydrate for the body. It's going to make them run and uh, perform better with no sugar. And they were buying it in hordes. They loved it. They put it in those big Gatorade things. But those are certain things that I can help an entire team with. And then individually, if a coach comes to me, like, hey, I have a player, this one, they're going to contact you for this or this. That's how we do it on an individual basis. But entire teams and things, we can help them with certain things that are more universal. That makes any sense. Yeah, that's perfect sense. So as soon as you've got solutions for everybody, um, I, I, that's, I mean, that, that's incredible. I know the teams here, at least in the San Diego or Southern California market, um, there are a number of different resources out there, but it's, you know, you do tend to get information overload um, when you do go to Google or you, you try to go your own uh, vehicle or avenue to find the answers. Um, so yeah, it, it's super, super awesome to have this chat with you. Thank you for peeling back the curtain uh, yeah. on what you are doing and how you provide value to this market. Um, is there anything you want to leave the audience with today? Um, and, and honestly, I think that the biggest thing that I'm going to say for all of you out there, especially the younger athletes, uh, is nutrition. I started my nutritional journey because I wanted to build muscle for basketball. I got cut from my basketball team my sophomore year in high school and because I was too small for the role I grew into. I was tall and skinny. They needed to build me up a little bit more. So I, I got cut. So that put a real uh, a, a idea in my head, like, well, how am I going to do this? I started talking to everyone and then I can find how to get stronger and bigger and better for that role to come in to play my junior year. And nutrition was the biggest thing, eating the right foods, taking the right supplements, the right supplements, not stuff that are, you're going to hear from, you know, an older friend that's in, in, in a senior that takes something they shouldn't, but the right things for you that are going to help you and be legitimate and not have any effect on, on your, a negative effect on your health. Um, taking the right things, eating the right foods, training hard, make sure that those three things are going to be on the forefront of any athlete's mind, whether it's going to be you know, you're going to be running faster for your track, your track team, or you're going to be playing harder um, because you need to be quicker because you're, you're there, you want to play goalie next year, whatever that may be. There's always things out there that are going to help you um, in terms of nutrition to make you better. So keep nutrition in mind um, and, and, and the proper, the proper supplements and the, and listening to your coaches and, and, and your family and doing the right things to make you better. And that's the biggest thing I can say is, Nutrition is going to make you better in the end. And, um, you know, any, anything you guys need, please reach out. Um, we're always here to help you. And there's always people that are going to help um, guide you in the right directions. I love that, man. I will definitely plug uh, performance ups in the uh, show notes. I'll definitely uh, share with you why and far. Um, anybody who's interested, um, I, this is the man right here in regards to uh, your health, nutrition, supplementation uh, goals. Um, as you can tell, and as I mentioned earlier, this whole Here are the Unheard Summit is about, you know, getting back to the routine, getting back to the processes that are going to develop our athletes, develop ourselves, develop your family. Um, and nutrition, health, supplementation is a key aspect to that. So reach out to Alex. Um, if you need any assistance, the handheld, the uh, personal attention, he's there to help you every step of the way. Alex, I appreciate your time, my friend. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Absolutely. You as well. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Alrighty, everybody, that was the one and only Alexander Freaky. This is your host of the Here the Unheard Digital Summit, Austin Turner, signing off for the day.